Do's and don't of freezing food. Even though I've significantly reduced how much I'm eating out through meal prep, I still find myself getting caught on the odd day in the middle of the week where I'm out of food and haven't defrosted any proteins, always a staple in my dinner and usually lunch, which leads me to eating out. I was thinking I could start increasing the quantity I meal prep and freeze what's not going to be consumed in a week. But I'm really clueless about this. How long does prepped food usually last in the freezer? Say for example things like meats and carbs. Would appreciate any other tips or guidelines when it comes to meal prepping and freezing food. As a side note, perhaps keep some cans of tuna or chicken in the pantry for those oops days. You can toss it into rice or onto a tortilla and boom. Dinner. There are a lot of guides out there about optimal freezer times, but I found that if properly stored, food can last almost indefinitely in there. Of course there's sometimes a little quality loss but if you don't lose power or have another major issue, I find you can keep most foods for months or even years. My top tips. Buy reusable boxes in portion sizes. Freeze in portion sizes, not in large amounts, unless you know you need a large amount all at once and will be happy to have it all thawed at the same time. Label everything. I use blue painter's tape, and then stick them inside a cabinet door for reuse we tend to repeat recipes after all right on the tape and then cut it off, rather than the other way around. It's good to maximize surface area of whatever you're freezing, so it'll defrost faster and more evenly. E.g., if you have some fresh minced meat, loosely flatten it into portion-sized pancakes. When defrosting, I usually put whatever meat it is into a jug of room temp water, in an airless, waterproof bag, to speed things up, and the extra surface area helps with this too. I don't meal prep a lot but if I do, it's usually because I've made a lot of nice sauce for pastas etc. In those cases I just fill waterproof bags with sauce, fold the bag to create two flat portions, and freeze that way, then I can just take a half bag of sauce and cook some dry pasta and hey presto, amazing pasta in 10 meters. Another tip I heard is freezing sauce in ice cube trays, for finer portion control, but I've never used this tip personally. Another really good idea is to buy fresh herbs, remove any stems and cut them however you need them, and freeze them this way. Then when you're cooking, you can just use them teaspoons at a time, as long as you're quick to not let them defrost and go mushy. Almost as good as fresh herbs, and 1000% better tasting than buying dried herbs. Just don't freeze them unprepared. The key thing is the type of freezer you are using. If you're using your freezer that is attached to your fridge, food is good for about 6 months before it develops freezer burn depending on how much air is in there. The reason for that is because your freezer will periodically raise the temp above freezing to make sure frost does not form in there. This will degrade the quality of your food over time. If you really want to keep food long term, then you need a chest freezer or an upright deep freezer that is not frost free. Foods can last literally years when air tight and deep frozen like that. The key thing to long-term storage, either in the fridge, freezer or deep freezer is air. Air, oxygen, is your enemy here. A good quality vacuum sealer will go a long way toward keeping your food edible and palatable for long periods of time, especially things like meat, fish and dairy. An instant pot, electric pressure cooker, has been a great investment for me. I can take meat straight from the freezer, put it in the pot and it'll be finished in well under an hour. I never intended on using it this way, but I very frequently do. Haven't seen it mentioned yet, so I'll throw this in. Although a vacuum sealer is a big chunk of change up front, it saves money in the long run as it does a ton of work in helping to prevent freezer burn. You've mentioned proteins specifically. I used to slice up chicken in strip and barbecue or oven bake. Then wrap and freeze in portions. So if I need some quick protein for my salad or dinner I could take some out and they defrost very quickly. A soup, sans rice, pasta, similar, freezes incredibly well in Ziploc bags. Use nice ones, popping the zipper during freezing would be awful. Just undercook any leafy veg, so it doesn't overcook during reheating, and cook the pasta and add it to the soup day of. It's good indefinitely. I'll note that for freezing meals, sometimes you're best just separating or remaking things. For example, pasta doesn't really freeze well but the sauce does. I'll freeze curry without the coconut milk and without the rice and just make rice in rice cooker and top with coconut milk after it defrosts. 
Also I suggest sausage for emergency I did not defrost items too. Sausage and potato can be cooked from frozen. Definitely freeze in portions. It makes defrosting times so much shorter. Also, if you can, freeze things as flat as possible. Makes stacking easier and it also cuts down on freezing, defrosting times. Also if you have the budget for it, I would highly recommend getting a vacuum sealer. It will substantially extend the life of your frozen and even refrigerated items. As a working mother with two teens, here is what I did. I worked overnight regular 40-hour job and during spring did taxes 20 to 24 hours in the evening it felt like all I did was work. I'd come home from shopping, immediately brown the hamburger and portion it in one hash bags and put in the freezer. My kids liked the rotisserie chicken from Costco. I'd portion the breast, wing quarters and shred the rest. That went in the freezer for soups. I'd make meatballs and freeze the pre-cooked leftovers. Same with pulled pork or beef. Portioned, pre-cooked frozen meat can be thawed quickly, if you forget to take it out of the freezer. I would just put the sealed package in hot water. Frozen veg can go from freezer to a pot. I have run cold water over it to unstick things frozen together. Just shake off all the moisture you can. My kids would make things like chili macaroni, meatball subs, or carnitas, but the meat had to be pre-cooked. It really saved money doing this. Every two weeks, I even made two dozen breakfast burritos, wrap them in wax paper and freeze those in a large plastic container. Those were quick breakfasts or snacks. I did this religiously, every two weeks. Payday. Kids are grown now, and I still do it. Keep pre-cooked hamburger for tacos, dirty rice, or spaghetti sauce. Shredded frozen chicken, pork and beef to make soup. I did not have any choice. As a single mom, we could not afford to eat out more than twice a month. Start using Tofu. Tofu is your best friend. It's always ready to go, has a long shelf life in the fridge and most meals using it are quick, cheap and tasty. Never have to worry about defrosting the meat. Someone else mentioned how great vacuum sealers are, and how it's worth the money. Came here to say that myself, and also that if you need to vacuum seal stew or soup, you can just put an appropriate amount in the pouch, gently fold the top and hold it in place with a clip or something, freeze it, and then vacuum seal it. That way the sealer doesn't suck fluid out with the air, but it still sucks the air out. There are tricks to this, but they're all worth doing. Sometimes when I travel I have packs of soup or baked beans or homemade ragu as combo ice packs and, once I heat them up, food. Nearly everything but leafy veggies can be frozen. You can cook meat from frozen, just add extra time. A high-quality, well-maintained freezer can keep food good for the better part of a year. It helps to use good quality bags, containers, too. And label everything. Nothing quite so scary as mystery food from the freezer. My two cents. I freeze meats a lot and learned a couple tricks that helped. When I buy a package of, say chicken breasts, boneless skinless, I try to freeze as soon as possible to maintain freshness. So I will open the package and take out each individual chicken piece, gently pat dry. Then I wrap it in sarin, cling wrap. Then I will take that and wrap that in aluminum foil. Then, finally, I will take two, three quarters pieces and put them in a specific, freezer bag, those nice thicker bags specifically for keeping in freezer. And of course get out as much air as possible, air is the enemy. This has really helped me keep meats in freezer for longer times, keeping freshness, avoiding freezer burn or funny tastes. I've done this with fresh chicken, beef, burger patties, Italian sausages etc also works with bagels. I would suggest picking up a sous vide machine. You can get some as cheap as $50 or even some of the fancier ones still under $100. I freeze almost everything I can pre-seasoned and just throw them in the sous vide one to two hours before mealtime. I know you can go longer if need be, set up before leaving for work, but some things may turn into mush if they're in for too long. I sometimes have been freezing meat in portions in water, seems to avoid freezer burn and stay fresher, usually have some salt in the water too to brine it as it thaws. Downside, takes longer to thaw. Along with freezing food for preservation, you can also look up canning food. Don't have to worry, as much, during power outage that your food will go bad if they're in jars in the pantry. Only tangentially related but something that was a total game changer for me was freezing garlic and ginger. I prep a ton of garlic every month or so in the food processor, 
fill a little jar in the fridge, and then freeze the rest in small portions. Minced garlic is always available now, with zero waste. Ginger is similar. I prep it in the food processor and then press it into ice cube trays. After the little cubes are frozen I put them in a big bag, and pull them out as needed. Garlic and ginger were not by far my biggest cooking faff but a Korean friend of mine taught me this and it's bonkers how much time it saves. We freeze most of our meat, buy it every two weeks or more, and use the microwave to defrost it right before broiling, frying, cooking. It's not super perfect like fresh but it's great for the convenience, as my family are picky and hate eating the same thing two days in a row. I do chicken breasts, hamburgers, steaks, London broil, stew meat, chicken thighs this way. I really like to pre-cook meat and package into meal size portions. Ground meat is great for this. It lasts seemingly forever in the freezer. You can thaw it in the microwave or in a covered pan or pot in just a few minutes and you can flavor it any way you like. If you freeze something like meatballs, leftover fruit, for smoothies, or ground meat put it on a sheet pan with wax paper first. If you freeze meat or fruit on a sheet pan then put it in a freezer bag it won't stick together. You can sprinkle out what you need and just close it back up. How long does prepped food usually last in the freezer? Months. I don't think things really go off, they just lose flavor. Don't freeze anything dairy. If plant-based proteins are okay for op, I like putting a can of beans in when I make rice. Works for any type of bean, chickpea. You can change the seasoning to keep it interesting. Cajun, Mexican, Middle Eastern. I keep a loaf of bread in the freezer, double wrapped. I can take a couple of slices at a time if need be. I have some sliced cooked bacon frozen, I make my own bacon when pork belly goes on sale. I also keep eggs on hand, they are good long after the best before date although they rarely go past the BB date in my fridge. Ocean sailors will keep eggs for months. If I forgot to take something out I'll make scrambled eggs, bacon egg sandwich, omelets, egg salad sandwich. I also like to keep a liter of buttermilk on hand. It too keeps long after the best before date. I use it for pancakes, waffles, muffins, quiche, I keep ready to use pie dough. I also use buttermilk as a starter to make more buttermilk when my milk starts getting old if I have a lot left over. I keep small amounts of gravy, cheese sauce, good with cheese strata, single and double servings of soup, lasagna, beans, chili. All can be reheated quickly from frozen. I'll make baked potatoes and defrost a single serving of chili and a slice of bacon, IIQF cooked bacon, with a bit cheese and some veggies. Buy reusable boxes in portion sizes like bento boxes? Or Tupperwares? I always use Ziplocs and I feel it's a waste but I don't know of any alternative for raw meats. Yeah, unless you have power failure and it all thaws out or something, food will still be safe to eat pretty much forever. But it'll stop tasting like anything after a while haha. <laughs> Grow your own herbs in a windowsill and you can have them fresh and frozen. Most do well on the window. Except the ones that get big, like rosemary and dill. Those will need pots on the ground. I froze a couple of pork tenderloin last year in an upright freezer. I wrapped them in plastic and foil and put them in freezer bags. Should they still be good? 